Hey everybody, Mr. Campbell here from Sunset Ridge Middle School and we are going to show you how to log in to Family Access and check your grades um, individually and how to change your password so it's not the crazy password that has all the letters and uh, numbers and stuff like that. So the first place you're going to want to go is to www.jordandistrict.org. Uh, they changed the site around this weekend. So it used to be in the top right hand corner, now it's just right down here you're going to click on gradebook. Um, it's going to open up a new window and you're going to scroll down to the bottom and you're going to go to family access and once you're here you should be kind of familiar with this page but you're going to put in your login and password um, and if it's the first couple times that you're logging in or you haven't changed your password yet, it's going to be that crazy password that has all the letters and numbers. And I'm going to show you how to change that once you get in. So once you get logged in, as you can see, we're logged in here as Justin Bieber. Um, you can change your password by going up to the top right hand corner where it says account info up here where the mouse is. Click on account info and you can go right here change my password and then it'll just ask you to change your password make sure you do it so everybody in the family knows so your parents and students can get in um, otherwise they'll just reset it and then you'll have to change it again so basically the way to navigate through the uh, the student or the family access is all of these tabs over here on the left uh, a lot of them you may or may not need to use depending on how you and your family um, uh, communicate with the school but the biggest one that we want to talk about today is the gradebook so if you click on gradebook it will open up a new window uh, or basically a new page and because we have a fictional or a real person but this classes don't exist we just have one class uh, for Mrs. Orkeo we have Utah studies here in your in your back office or your page it'll actually have all seven of your classes um, and here's your citizenship grade here quarter one and then so on second third and fourth but if you need to find any missing assignments for Mrs. Orkeo's class you actually just come over here and you click on your grade now Justin's has some stuff that needs to turn in so we'll click on the D here and it opens up a new window and the really cool thing is, is it breaks down all of the assignments uh, homework and by whatever um, category they're in. Okay. Now, some teachers put all of the assignments and tests in one category and do total points, and other of them break it down like Mrs. Urquijo does. But you can actually go see, go through, and see which assignments you are missing here. So Justin is missing the geography packet. He's also missing the Utah counties. Now, if you want to find out more information about that particular assignment, you just click on geography packet. If there was any notes or anything, it would be here. Okay, so it tells you this is a compilation of four assignments done during the uh, geography unit: when it was assigned, when it was due, how many points it was worth, and then the score that you got on it. Okay. Now, what you can also do is you can see all of your missing assignments in one screen or one shot. So it's not going to show all of the other classes because Justin only has one class but if you were to click on missing assignments it's going to show you the two missing assignments the teacher what assignment it was the category and how many points were possible okay so you should actually be able to get a printout and you can actually print this out you just hit print up here in the middle on the top right hand corner and you could actually find out all of the missing assignments and print those out so when you go to uh, I flight or when you get midterms home or when your parents ask you what are you missing you can print this out and it'll show you all of the assignments that you are missing now a couple other things here you can check your total GPA at that point um, after the report cards are given obviously we haven't sent out report cards yet so those aren't um, updated um, teachers log um, it basically shows when the teacher logged in and information about that but since this isn't a real student it's not going to have any information there but the progress report is probably the biggest thing that you're going to want to look at um, 
as well as some of the other other things. Now some teachers may send messages home. You can check your message center here. Any emails or alerts that are sent home uh, will go through to the message center. You can check that out. You can look at your schedule, your attendance, test scores, um, lunch if you need to add lunch or find out how much is left in your lunch, uh, and then also your login history. So it'll show you how many times you have logged in. Now the great thing is about this is teachers as well can see how many times a student has logged in and when the last time they logged in um, was. So that about pretty much does it for the gradebook tutorial. Um, if you have questions you can contact the school. The phone number is 801-412-2475. Um, if you need extra help just go back through and watch the video again. Um, have a great day you guys.